Good morning guys. This is not an orchid video but it's part of my um, garden. Today I will present to you five of the newest addition to my collection. It's kind of like a spring plant haul but I already planted them because they arrived so early and it was still um, crazy weather. Um, frozen mixes and stuff like that. So what I did this five new orchid, a uh, new plant I put them in the pot and held them up with the held them up with a moist soil to survive up until um last week I planted them here in the container garden so um this one by the way I never had this fruit before never tried it in my life so but I planted it um this one is a gelato red mulberry I planted this mainly for my husband because um, he doesn't like the raspberries that I grow. I had a can, I have a can, can be thornless raspberry, and there's a lot of seeds in it. My hubby doesn't like the seeds on it, so I figure in order for him to eat berries, so I gonna, I'm gonna plant mulberry. So I got the gelato red mulberry, and in the, in the pot. That I also um, sprinkled um, radish white beauty right there the, the, the thing yeah sprinkle around this one but this mulberry is gonna stay contained in this um, half barrel uh, con half barrel container so we'll see and I never tried mulberry fruit before so I could be tasting that too And on this container here, the second plant I planted, it's already had a sprout in it. Oh, the sprout won't, won't show. Here, so this one, I think it's pretty safe. It's alive. So this is called uh, the Sun Red Nectarine. It won't show, isn't it? There, the sundry nectarine. Oh, it's raining a maple, maple uh, tree so, buds. Yeah. So anyway, so this is the size, the size of that. It's in this pot, so I can dwarf them by uh, trimming of the branches, so to keep them small. Yeah, that's the second one. Okay, let's let's move on. And this is the third one, guys. It's also in the pot. Yeah, I planted this one in here outside April 12, 2018. But they arrived much earlier than this. Like I said, I kept them in the basement with a, a moist soil. Yeah, this is a Ruby Grand Nectarine. And by the way, I bought them from a um, nursery called, called um, the Nursery of Tai Tai. Yeah. Yeah, like that Ruby Grand Nectarine. So I'm hoping that this one's gonna wake up soon. So the, the branches that they cut off right here, they trim off. Kind of like looks like um dead, but this one, it still looks alive right here the the lead so we'll see it's pretty good it, did, it didn't say that it's grafted but I think it does so we'll see that's the fourth plant guys it's uh I can't go in there right now because I have to go all the way around the fence that I built for um for the for the fifth plant I'll show you later but this one here it's trimmed off as well so that it would fit in the box this is the the Mikawa Jiro Persimmon so Japanese Persimmon or Asian Persimmon yeah um, this is the non astringent variety Look at that. I planted this in here right beside the other two Persimmon but those, those Persimmons in there 
they're getting big now but they are the American persimmons so they're very well established in there already so this is the the younger uh, persimmon here the youngest persimmon that I planted together with the other new fruit trees I'm hoping that when this ones get bigger and if I don't like the fruit of the American persimmon then I can just get the cutting some cuttings of this um, uh, Mikawa, Mikawa Jiro persimmon and I will learn how to graft some of that here in the American persimmon so that's my future plan but anyway this is the the fifth new plants I put this um, here in the cage because this one is a grape it's called a ladyfinger seedless grape yeah let me see so I'm hoping for this fence I asked my hubby to help me build the fence for that but to put in here and I we have to remodel some um, area in the backyard we arrange things and then we incorporate this um, grip vines in the design someday and we get time you know and mula yeah okay I'll be so busy busy work for now okay so this one yeah is the lead lady finger seedless grape so it's gonna be nice I have a nice plan for this one for a design in the backyard so it's very nice get very nice um healthy seedlings by the way yeah that's my first time ordering this um, fruit trees from um, the nursery of Tai Tai yeah and before I in in this video I'm gonna show you some of the spring flowers that I that's blooming look at my that my hyacinth guys it has been raining all day yesterday so much rain and today it's cloudy look at that sad this is the daffodil used to be a lot in here but for some reason some of them didn't come back maybe it's too cold or the animals dug them out I don't know and look at this guys these are almost like full blue hyacinth isn't that gorgeous blues are oh almost full almost full wrap all around look at that beautiful this one's not so full these are my beautiful blue hyacinth guys oh and a tulip in the mix <laughs> Okay, guys, another tulip here. They're scattered all over the ground here. Some came back, some not. Don't know what happened to them, but I have pretty good idea what happened to them. Very beautiful hyacinth. Yeah. And this massive um, it's gonna be thrown into a ground cover. But this one I'm gonna divide it some in the shaded area. This is the geranium. Yep, it used to be small in here. Look at that. It eat up the some of my uh, hyacinth and daffodils in here. And there's two lips right there. Yeah. Hmm. And more hyacinth in here. The rain was really hard on them yesterday. That's why they are like in the ground. Yeah. I have been hardening off my tomatoes outside here. And some of the eggplant in the other side. So, this other side of the house, I hardened them off. This is their um, third day, third or fourth day. I don't know. Pretty soon I'm going to plant them up. And look at the sight of this beautiful 
spring flowers guys the primrose I have been out here earlier and then uh, did some um, was the um, spring pruning on my um, peaches in the back there's a lot of dead branches over from winter so I've been just all around yeah and this is premium scratches my eyes look at that it's not fully bloom out here it just it just woken up yeah. yep and that's my transplanted um, sensation tree lily and my astelbees are woken up waking up too 